Welcome to Starkville, Mississippi, Davis Wade Stadium, where they've got a fever, and the only prescription is more cowbell. We believe we've got a great one in store today, and we've got a team that makes it into the top 25. Now when you go on the road, that's when you prove you belong. As we'll see, the number 14 team in the country, the Florida Gators, taking on a fellow SEC opponent, the Mississippi State Bulldogs. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. Mississippi State ready to kick off to get this game started. From inside the 10, here he comes. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So the Florida Gators offense will get the first crack at it here. And they're led out there by a man who will carry the ball plenty in this one, guys. Well, it's real simple. He's the best player on their team. They have got to force feed this guy the football, baby. No doubt about it. The offense goes through him. Excited to see how they built this offense and how many different ways they can get him touches. The offense lining up for a first down play. They weren't able to get that one off. It'll be a delay of game. Delay of game. Offense. Offense. The offense couldn't get the snap off in time, and it'll cost them. First down for this offense. From the gun, the running back looking for room. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Right, how about this uh, offense? You, you think of this offense, you think of throwing the football and top ten passing in all of college football, but the defense knew something, right? Like, you could tell they were going to come out and run the football. They brought out the goal line, brought in some big boys, and really was ready for the run on that play. Fires to the right. Got his man! Spins away with great balance. And the tackle is made, but not before. That completion gets them 30-plus. And this defense is going to have their hands full because they're going to need to be comfortable with guys one-on-one -on, -one on islands in the perimeter of the field. And they're just going to have to make better plays than what we saw right there. They knew this offense was going to try to be aggressive. Got to need better effort in the back end for this defense moving forward. Looking to throw, it's Mertz. Feeling some heat. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. Well, you're making a positive out of a negative. And that time, quarterback, nice job buying time. He's trying to throw the football downfield. Nothing there. So instead of throwing it away, getting the incomplete, just get what you can get and make this next down more manageable. Sometimes a quarterback just needs to turn the ball loose. It was like he tried to guide that one in, and it disrupted the time. And, and just like in basketball, when you shoot a shot and you start trying to aim it, you really, really miss. You know, quarterbacks, they got to quickly recognize, do I need to fire it? Do I, do I need to put a little air underneath it? And, and it's just a tough thing for a quarterback to be able to do. But over time, you see they have less and less mishaps like that. To the air on first down. And the quarterback will be slung down back at the 43. And nice answer by this defense. You give up a big play, you go take a big play. Sometimes you get down yourselves and one play turns to two. Nice job by this defense getting a sack, creating some momentum. That's the last thing you want as an offense, a negative play, a sack on first down. On second down, he'll fire. Rolling to the right, trying to make something happen. Got him downfield. They'll mark him down right there, but it is a big play, and they'll move the chains. What a beautiful throw and catch on this play, and I love the job the receiver did tracking the ball in the air. Nice job of locating the throw and then hauling it in. Ball start. Ball start. Ball start. Ball the officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. And 
And the Gators have it with a first and goal. An unforced error there. They don't get the snap off in time. So frustrating to see an offense lose track of the play clock and pick up a penalty like that. So, so close to cashing it in for this offense. To the air, it's Mertz. Working that left side now. Touchdown, Florida! Reeled it in and just made the house call. Really nice job working the route and getting himself open. He was able to locate the football, snag it out of the air, and this guy now has five receiving touchdowns on the year. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And no chance at a return. Here they'll start this drive at their own 25. The Bulldogs offense has the ball for the first time. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play well. They immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He'll keep it himself. Pass the sticks and still on his feet. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Well, this is one of the fastest quarterbacks in college football, and that's why the option's a good idea, because if he can get out in space and he has a chance to get downfield, he is really difficult to tackle, and he's very difficult to catch, as we saw in that last play, getting a first down. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. Yeah, and this off, man, you got to do a better job blocking. And I tell you what, that's kind of been a theme throughout the season. They haven't been high-powered. They haven't really figured out who they are yet. And they still got time. The season's not over yet. But this offense is still in identity mode. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. And how about this defense? Your offense goes right down the field, scores on the first drive, and now you come out, get a big sack on third down, and force a punt. You talk about creating momentum early and shutting the home crowd up. Mission accomplished. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He'll bring it back. It's Abrams. He'll get it to about the 25 before they put a stop to the return. The Gators sending the offense back to work. That last drive really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Everything working. I would expect them to keep pushing this ball downhill. And just imagine if they could put another touchdown on the board right here. They could capture so much momentum in this game with back-to-back -back TDs. Off play action. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Oftentimes with play action, you're asking the quarterback to hold on the ball a bit longer, and you're asking this offensive line to hold up and pass for a bit longer. Against this athletic front seven on defense, it's going to be tough. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. The Gators line up to punt it away. And that's a play on third down. This offense just has to do a better job protecting their quarterback, give them a split second more time to complete that throw, but they couldn't do it there. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines, not his best work. Here comes the Mississippi State offense, ready to attack. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And, David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle. Oh, look out! He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Mississippi State right back to the line. From the gun, the ground game. 
And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. The give to the tailback. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. A third and long coming up here. Well, just nothing doing on that last run. And they knew coming into this one they were going to be challenged, right? This is one of the best defenses in all of college football. For them to have any shot, they're going to have to do a lot better running the football. And on fourth down, here comes the field goal unit. He's going to reach for a long one, a 52-yard attempt. He splits the uprights and puts three on the board. How nice is it as a head coach to have a kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut him out there and let him stroke it through the uprights. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. And they'll haul down the returner to start us on the next drive. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. We just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. Dropping back. It's Lagway. Still looking on the move. Still on his feet at the 45. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. I just love this guy's instincts, right? When things aren't open right away, he never panics. He just understands the situation where he is on the field, and he's so confident in his own natural ability that he has the ability to run, go get the first down, keep this drive rolling. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. The Gators are rolling down the field. Second and short is a great situation to be in. And look at him. He drops back to pass the football. He doesn't have to throw the football. He wants to be aggressive, and he can just take off and scramble. Doesn't have to take a chance. Great being ahead of the sticks. And the Gators with the first and ten. Keeping it on the ground with the running back. He rolls all the way down to the five-yard line before they finally get him stopped. And I don't care if I get it by two, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just... I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but... And he'll glide his way in for the score. Touchdown, Gator! You know, this guy's had a big role in this offense this year, especially when they get down close to the end zone. That's his fifth rushing touchdown on the year. He's been a factor for these guys offensively. And the extra point makes it 14-3. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Week in and week out, guys. You never know what's going to happen in college football. Check this out. Louisville is trailing right now, but let's be honest. The program that turned out Lamar Jackson should never be counted out of any game. It's a touchdown game. They're trailing by seven to Georgia Tech. We promise to keep you posted on what goes down in this exciting college football matchup. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. With jet sweep pass. The defense wouldn't let him loose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Setting up the screen. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. So Mississippi State will have to punt this one away. Looking for a block. It's Abrams. They'll put that return to a stop at the 33, but the offense set up in pretty good field position. The Gators sending the offense back to work. 
You want to talk about a drive where you impose your will? That's what they did running it down for a touchdown, David. There is nothing more demoralizing than that for a defense. To be physically pounded, the run is coming, you know it's coming, and you can't stop it. Nothing the defense can do. That is mano y mano up front, and your guys getting the push. They know you're running it, and they still yeah, can't stop it. Okay. Okay. The delay of game pushes the offense back. Here comes the offense on first down. Used to play fake, now to throw. And the quarterback is snowed under. Play action pass success has a lot to do with selling that play. You could tell defense was not buying it, got in the backfield, got the big play. Scanning the field, it's Mertz. They're trying to get to it. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. This offensive line is going to have to shore up this pass pro, guys. The last play, they took a sack. This one, they allow a hit on the QB, which forces the incompletion. Third down, you're going to be throwing it right here, you think. So O-line's got to step up. And they can't hook up on the big play, and that brings up a fourth down. The Gators will line up to punt it away. Great play by the defensive back, showing you his variety of skills. His ability to turn the hips, his speed running downfield, turning his head to locate the football and then swatting it away. You just can't do it better. We've come to the end of the quarter, and it's Florida on top. They came out and jumped on them early in the first. Let's take a break and look at the first quarter stats. Just about ready to get things started here in the second. We'll see if they continue to flex that muscle. They'll break the seal on this quarter here on first down. Takes the handoff. It's Booth. Got enough for the first down. They'll get him down, but not before he crosses the 50. He's down to the 49. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And that's a great play by the defensive end. The best athletes on the field play defensive end. You can ask anybody. Yes, I agree, Jesse Reese. See, they agree with me. Same thing. But you watch them get off the football, make the play. That's why you put your athletes there. The Bulldogs in the hurry up. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Grabbed over the middle. It's Booth. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. Really nice job by the running back setting up that angle route. He's making it look like he's running to the flat, and then he puts his foot in the ground, cuts back across the defender's face, and makes himself an easy target for the quarterback. Well, the most insightful analysis I can come up with on that one is that didn't work. Back to the drawing board to see if there's something that works a little better soon. Oh, there's the ball! And the defense has it. They're going the other way. Open space at the 25. Can anyone catch him? Touchdown, Florida! And the defense doing work. And these guys are really hitting their stride in week four as they push out that lead. And I love the way they break on the football, swarm to the football. This is why you do it, because sometimes the ball comes out, the linebacker picks it up, and tell you what, the big fella shows some speed, takes it all the way back for six. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they're on top by 18. That is a defensive player's dream. Ball sitting there, chance to scoop it up, one with it, and they don't stop you until the band starts playing. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. Here comes the Bulldog offense back onto the field. This is hardly the start they dreamed of, down 21-3, but get a touchdown here and you feel like you're back in it, Jesse. Yeah, and it's frustrating for this offense as well. He's off to the races. The 40, the 20, he's at the 10, 
Touchdown, Bulldog! And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. And there's just an example of over-pursuit by the defense. I think they were expecting the pitch man to get the football. They got way too wide. Give the quarterback credit. He read the defense appropriately, put his foot in the ground, got north, and he was gone. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. The ball squirts through the end zone. That'll be a touchback. They'll bring it out to the 25. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. Last time, David, it was one, two, three, kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable, that last drive. they got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. From the 39-yard line, it's first and 10. He's looking to throw it. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. Doesn't take this defense a lot of time to get to the quarterback, man. They've got speed all over the place. They hit him so quickly, and because of that, the ball falls incomplete. And he won't quite get there, but boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first, an array of possibilities here. It'll be a run on third and short. He's got first down yardage across the 50. They'll mark it at the 49. Yeah, and this offense doing more of what they do. This is the number one offense in the country in first downs. They find a way to continue to move the football, run, pass, so much balance. This offense is so good. Now the quarterback changing the original play call. Looking for a man. It's Lagway. He's going to take off. He scrambled forward and got a few and turned that into a positive play. Welcome to the frustrating reality of college football. Like, the guy at the quarterback spot, he can just do that. Pull it down, get positive yards, makes the defense have to account for him every single play. The Gators are stopped, but not before getting it past the sticks. Just inside the 40-yard line, it's first and 10 from the 39. Trying to get to it. He is brought down, but man, what a job to find some running room and move the chains. This is why everybody grows up and wants to be an offensive coordinator and not a defensive coordinator, because he can do that. He drops back. He's supposed to pass, but you know what? I'll just scramble around, and I'll, I'll just go get plenty of yards and pick him up and put him down, and I'm faster than most of your other guys, too, so good luck stopping Still moving to his right, trying to make a big play. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. That's a ball that this offense should be able to complete. They had the coverage they wanted. Receiver ran on the route. Just an inaccurate throw by the quarterback. They'll throw again after the incompletion. Unloads to the wideout. Makes the catch. And he will score. Touchdown, Gator! This guy is officially a problem. The second receiving touchdown of the game. Nice job by the offense, too. If I've got a matchup I like, continue to pick at it until they stop it. And with the extra point, they're on top by 18. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Number 26, set to kick this low. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. The Mississippi State offense headed back to the field to go to work. There's certainly still a hill to climb, but they've got to make sure these drives pay off. Got a touchdown last time. Can they back it up here? Well, and it's amazing in a football game how sometimes they'll surprise you with what you do. Once you get settled, you realize what's going on. Now, I'm comfortable with it. Jesse, this offense looked comfortable on its last drive. They sure did. It looked like they started to find some momentum. So now it's on this defense to stop that, all right? You're a little bit upset based on what just happened the previous drive. You've got to bow up again and go back to what was working earlier in this game. Back to pass. It's shaping. Using the quick game. Able to work it to the 39-yard line, and that will be a first down. Mississippi State to the line with a fresh set of downs. 
Really nice job there by the quarterback, understanding that it's zone coverage on third down. You're going to have to find someone working into a soft spot, get the ball out of your hands quickly, make an accurate throw, and pick up the first. Well done. They go to the ground. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered up. On third down, he drops the throw. Catch in the middle. It's Harmon. Running wide open down the gut of the field. And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before he's finally stopped. Now from inside the red zone. He's got his man. Good throwing catch. Takes it down to the five as the offense tries to cash in. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Quick pass on the jet motion. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Mississippi State. Big time touchdown there to get some much needed momentum. You gotta find something, right? Who you gonna go to to make that big play to get you back into it? You're not back in it yet. It's not, it's not tied. You're not there yet, but you're starting to inch back into it and get some momentum going. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And there will be no return on this one as the ball bounds into the end zone. The Gators sending the offense back to work. The way this game started, you feel as if you have to score a touchdown every time you have it, and now we'll see if they can respond. Yeah, and I wonder how much pressure that puts on the offense. Jesse, like, you know this is back and forth, and i got to score, and every possession matters so much. What does that do to you as a quarterback? Well, it puts a lot more pressure on you for sure to feel like i got to make every third down throw. And there was no way to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. They've already racked up big sack numbers. It's starting to snowball, and they're ready to go again. Keeps it going. And this defense is bringing the heat. Another sack. Man, just pressure. You've got to love the ability to get to the quarterback, make him feel uncomfortable. And then the cherry on the Sunday, Jesse, is getting him on the ground and forcing him. And this defense has maxed out this pressure. Another sack. And the Gators will send out the punt unit. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. Here comes the Mississippi State offense ready to attack. Running out of time here in the first half, and they do have a chance to make this a one-possession game. And so you got to locate your open runway ahead. And he'll take it all the way. They couldn't bring him down. Touchdown, Bulldogs! That was a lightning-fast drive that ends with a touchdown. Yeah, if you can string a few more drives like that together, man, we might as well get our popcorn out because we're going to get a lot Score. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. Eastern Michigan is ahead in this one. This team plays a hard no style of football there in the back. But they're a long way from closing this out. They're up by a field goal over the astronauts. For now, it's back to you fellas, but of course, if anything changes, we'll see it right here. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. Looking for a man. It's Flagway. Now he's going to break. The quarterback scrambled around with the defense, able to scramble him and turn it into a sack. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. On third and long, try to convert through the air. And it slips through his fingers, incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. The Gators send out the punt unit. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. He's got great speed. They'll put a stop to that return as he gets it up to the 41-yard line. Here comes the Bulldog offense back onto the field. 
They put it in the end zone the last time they had it, and now an opportunity to really take control of this game. You can feel the momentum shifting. If they were able to take the football here, drive it down the field, and score again, David, they would have all of that momentum on their side. And there's nothing about momentum that you can quantify. Like, I, I don't understand it, but once it gets going in one direction, a lot of times it's so hard to swing it back the other direction. The momentum is real, and they got it. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. Mississippi State will roll out the punt unit. Oh, this is a bad, bad shank. Guys, this offense will go back on the attack. They'll give it to Johnson. After the pickup of nine, it's second and one. The Gators want to crank the tempo. The play action fake. On the move and looking deep. And it's knocked away downfield. The DB getting a hand in there. You see it in football all the time, right? Now I get a matchup on the outside. You want to try to play man coverage? I'm going to let my wide receiver try to go up and make a play. A lot of times the wide receiver wins. Not this time. Quick timeout from the offense to save precious seconds. And the Gators come to the line with a new set of downs. Wants to throw on first down. Looking for a huge play. And it falls incomplete, but that could have been disastrous. A defender was right there. After the misfire, now on second down. Caught over the middle, it's Johnson. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit of the time to get to that first down mark. Shotgun snap on third down. Under heavy pressure, lights it fly. And they wanted it all on third down, but now dealing with fourth down. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. Would have been a 52-yard field goal attempt from here. A sack and what a stop for this defense to turn it over on down. Looking for a productive play on first down. He's going to pass. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Looking to throw it, shape it. Pocket starts to collapse. And they got him for the sack. One snap coming before they head to the locker room. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Gentlemen, you've had yourselves a superb broadcast so far today in Starkville. And you know... In a day where the spread option and air raid are the offenses of choice, how nice is it to see the three yards at a cloud of dust approach? Although we've also seen some runs go for a lot longer. Physical offensive lines coupled with great backs is like a throwback to the olden days, and that's refreshing. And with that, let's send it back to the fellas at Davis Wade Stadium. Gators will try to kick this one deep to get things underway in the second half. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. The Mississippi State offense headed back to the field to go to work. They ought to have some confidence based on that first half performance, but they certainly can't let up in a game like this. And I think this possession is really, really important. And I say that because they had a lot of success, but they're still losing because the defense can't. 
can't stop anyone. They need to set the tone here in the second half. And it's exactly that, David. You got to create momentum here early in the second half. You only do that by going out, marching the ball down the field, and scoring right away, trying to put pressure on the opposing offense. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Might as well give it to him again. At the 35, he's got room. He got a bunch and looked close to getting a lot more, but he's got the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Now he's looking to throw it quickly to the tight end. And there were no creases or crevices to run through, and they shove him out of bounds. Now on second down. We're able to find the tight end for an easy completion, but good job tackling, not allowing him to get the first down. He stopped after a one-yard pickup at the 25. They run into a bit of trouble here, third and long from the 25, and the last thing they want is to get knocked out of field goal range. Finds the tight end. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. They're not into threes. They want sixes. And to keep this drive alive, they'll need to get it on fourth down. Now the pitch. Will not get there. A fourth down stop. And how about the defense coming up big on fourth and short? You know they're going to run the football. Great job stacking the box, getting the big stop. Powers through. Just what they were looking for to get this drive rolling. They're out to the 35. So much for the tough field position. One play, and you're already to the 35. Heaves it on the run. Snags it on the right. And he's brought down after a huge completion. And a big reason why this team has the lead in this game is because of plays like that. They know they've got firepower throwing the ball. They've got the dudes outside that can make things happen. You saw it in the first half, and you see it here again early in the third quarter. And David, how demoralizing does it have to be for a defense when you know they're going to run it, everyone in the stadium knows they're going to run it, and still, you cannot stop it. And he tries to get away, but he cannot. He's taken down. He'll lose a couple. And that is a huge play for the defense. Offense has it in your red zone. You're trying to knock them out of field goal range. The only way you do that is by creating negative plays, and they get the sack. Knocked down after a pickup of six, and they're trying to impose their will in the red zone. Balls at the 13. I know the passing game sells. The passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards a pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. To the air, it's Lagway. Moving away from pressure. And the Heat gets there, and they get him down at the 14-yard line. So they'll send out the field goal unit. The number one job is to protect your quarterback, and they weren't able to do it long enough that time. This offensive line, Reese, they've got to do a better job communicating pre-snap and try and figure out which First people on defense are going to be rushing the passer. Right now, this offense just looks confused up front. Might be the worst-case scenario for this defense. Thought they'd held them to three. Now the offense with a chance for more. The give to the back. And he's sprinting. He'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Florida. The offense flexes its muscle a bit and widens the gap. Take a little exhale. You know, you, you did your job. You got points. Now you put your defense in a position where, hey, go out and get another stop. We're in great shape. So the offense definitely taking care of their business. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And he's coming out of the end zone. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Here comes the Mississippi State offense, ready to attack. You could probably question the decision to pass on a field goal last time, and they came up empty on that previous drive, Jesse. I just think in this offense, it's going to come down to critical down and distances, right? Down in the red zone, third down, fourth down. I like them being aggressive. They just got to do a better job executing. Yeah, and they kind of know what the defense gave them last time. So let's be more aggressive and take advantage of that defense on this drive. Great team defense. 
defense on that run play. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones, D linemen staying in their gaps, linebackers and DBs filling. You just can't do it better. They'll run the screen. They play that screen nicely. He tried to find his way to the marker, but it'll be fourth down. So Mississippi State will have to punt this one away. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. Slips through the line. Tries to find a little more running room on that return, but he'll be stopped at the 36. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. It's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of balance, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing, Paul. Yeah, and you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Dropping back, it's Mertz. Gets it out quickly. Stop is made at the 44, but it's a 15-yard gain and a first down. And that's just a great individual effort by the wide receiver. He catches this ball way short of the sticks, but because he's able to make the defender miss, now he's able to get the extra yards and turn that into an explosive play. From the shotgun, they'll run it. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Going to the ground. That pickup might be best measured in inches rather than yards. Not a lot of running room there. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. And he was hit just as he was releasing the pass, and it falls to the ground incomplete. The Gators will punt it away on fourth down. Oh, you know what time it is when the defense gets that stop on third down. Fist up in the air. Nice job getting to the quarterback, putting some pressure on him, hitting him, forcing the incompletion. Fourth down, baby. Here comes the Bulldog offense back onto the field. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. Don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some... And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with a sack. You see a Gator bringing the heat like that, you think about Derek Harvey, who was the MVP of the national championship game in 06. And Alex Brown and Javon Kurz, they had a long list of guys that can really make the quarterback's life difficult. you got to put pressure on the quarterback. you got to affect him. Really nice job on this play. Mississippi State comes out after picking up the first down. They're getting this guy lathered up. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. Out of the gun. They'll run it inside. And he doesn't find much running room. A short gain on the play. They've already punted four times in this game. And they're about to run the guy out there for a fifth time if they don't pick up the first down here. Coming after him. And he just throws it away on third down. I don't think you can give up on a play like that. Mississippi State will roll out the punt unit. And this is why you don't want to get in these situations. Third and long, defense knows it's pass. They're playing pass, playing deep. QB has nowhere to go with the football, so he just throws it away. Pretty solid coverage there, and they'll stop him at the 26. The Gators sending the offense back to work. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. Yeah, and there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. This offense is like running a perfection drill in practice against air. Chunk. And they got him. He'll get him down for the sack. Well, this offensive line has got to do a better job. They've now given up way too many sacks. This poor quarterback is running for his life. They've got to shore up and do a better job on the offensive line. All down at the 38-yard line and a big pickup.
up of 15 yards there. And the Gators are on the move. To throw, it's Flagway. Trying to make magic with his feet. And the defense stops him just short of the first down. Maybe needed a few more chain links to move the sticks. Four wide receivers spread across the field on second and inches. The Gators get the first down. He's now over 150 yards on the ground and starting to put Emmitt Smith's single-game rushing record in sight. Just feed the big fella. I mean, when you make plays and when you break tackles and, and you can... Here comes the rush, and they've got him wrapped up at the 28. All right, this offense needs to come up with a solution for this defensive end because he is a problem. They have got to find a way to help out the offensive tackle. Prevent this guy from getting the quarter. They've moved it to the 25, but now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Getting some heat. Discards a man. Nice job to get down there and avoid the hit with the spot. Now on fourth down, they'll try to come away with three. The kicker will reach for a 36-yard attempt. Never a doubt. And they'll push that lead out a little further. That makes the score. Florida, 38, Mississippi State, 24. So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. From a couple of yards deep, he'll bring it out. They get him down, and that'll be the final play of the third period. If you like old school running games, this has been the game for you and a couple of guys who starred through the first three periods. One more quarter to play, and it might be unlikely, but hey, it's college football. Comebacks happen. Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. Looking for room. It's Booth. They believe in that running game. Got six before he stopped at the 23. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Back to throw, it's Shapen. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. Well, the problem for this offense now late in the game, trailing by a bunch of points, is that the defense knows they're going to throw the football. And right now, offensively, they cannot protect the edge. You saw the speed coming from the outside. He was able to get to the quarterback for another negative play. So Mississippi State will have to punt this one away. And now such a tough situation. Late in this game, you're trailing, but now it's fourth and long. Like, it's one thing if it's fourth and short. This makes it even more difficult. you got to have something dialed up. You feel really great. He was working his way on the return toward midfield. They'll stop him at the 46. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. That last drive was a long one, Jesse. Then, like this time, to pay it off with a touchdown instead of a field goal. No doubt, Reese. They had a lot of good stuff going that last drive. Need to get a tutty up on the board here to extend that lead. Man. And I think you definitely want a touchdown, but if you put another long drive together, get points, multiple possessions in a row, start to let those body blows add up and wear this defense out. Couldn't ask for much more there. A first down, and they're down to the 42. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. Grab behind the line. It's Johnson. And a quick completion, an even quicker loss. The defense was right there to knock him down. You know, as a quarterback, you believe in your matchup. And in my running back, if I can get him the ball in space, he's going to win a lot of times. He didn't that time. The defense was ready. Nice job in the open field making the nice tackle. Looking downfield, it's Mertz. And he's got it inside the 10. Touchdown, Gator! Hold it in and just kept right on running to the Hallelujah Land. With 
that the lead nice and comfortable and they're cruising toward a 4-0 start there's no mercy rule in college football man they've got a huge lead here in the fourth quarter they are still chucking it and they are still scoring we check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? A bit of an under-the-radar game this week, guys, but take a look at this. Indiana is currently trailing in this one, but it feels like the tide may be turning. This program has picked itself up before, and it's capable of it again today. It's less than a touchdown lead. They're trailing by six to Charlotte. We'll circle back if anything big happens you should know about. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. They'll throw it on first down. Find space on the right. Big play for this offense. They get it to the 32. And the Bulldogs want to pick up the tempo. Well, I'll give this offense some credit because they've got a lot of fight. There is no quit in them, and they're obviously trailing by a big amount in this game. They haven't had a lot of success, but they're still taking shots, and their players are still out there competing. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. He's looking to throw. Lays out and makes a sweet grab along the left sideline. Now on first and goal, let's see what Mississippi State does. Well, this guy came ready to play today, man. That is an unbelievable diving catch. He has been unstoppable today. Over 100 yards receiving already. Doesn't matter where he lines up, but if you're going to make catches like that, you're going to get a lot of throws coming your way. we still got a lot of football to go, guys. He'll run it to the middle, looking for the end zone. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Third and goal coming up here. Back to throw. It's shaping. Let's it go to the end zone. Fires the pass. Intercepted. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. And as a defensive lineman late in the game, man, when you know it's passed, you're pinning your ears back, trying to get to the quarterback, and DBs are trying to do this. Pad them stats, get the INT. Nice job by this D. Across the 25, he's got room. And he has vexed this defense with scramble after scramble, has another first down. Man, I love it when my QB not only uses his athletic ability, but uses his head. Nice job here. Nothing open. Don't force the football. You've got the lead. It's the fourth quarter. Nice job taking off and getting the first down. This offense lining up now at the 48-yard line on first and 10. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. He's looking to throw. Trying to make magic on the scramble. They make the stop, but what a job on the scramble to get loose and pick up that first down. These guys aren't human anymore. I mean, they got to survey the field, throw the football, make deep passes, and then guess what else? They pull the ball down, take off, and make big chunks of plays on the ground. A shot toward the end zone. And swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. Now inside four minutes to go here on second down. I'm a little bit surprised they're still throwing the football here this late in the game with this kind of lead. They're on first down, taking a shot, falls incomplete. But obviously, they're still seeing matchups they want to take advantage of in the back end of this defense. So they're letting it fly. The Gators will snap it on first and ten. They'll throw it from the red zone. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Well, the offensive line has got to give him at least a little bit of time to survey the field. He had no chance that time getting hit almost immediately after he got the ball. Makes the grab along the sidelines, but it'll be a little short of the first down. Pass in the defense. And the defender just way too handsy on that last play. You could see all the contact as the ball was in the air. He simply can't do it, and the referee's caught it. The offense will gladly take a fresh set of downs after the penalty. Looking to go up top on first down. It falls incomplete. He was trying to find his man for six. On the 
Defense rose up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. The aerial assault continues. Gets it out fast. And he'll step across the sideline after making a good gain on that one. I like that big, reliable security. And that's what tight ends are a lot of times. They're just usually big, huge guys that if I throw it anywhere near him, he's going to pluck it, catch it, give me some positive yards. Third and goal, and they'll try to pass it in. And the defense makes a play, sacking him back at the 10. Here comes the field goal unit. Man, it didn't take long for the defense to get home on that play. You see them playing man coverage in the back end, slowing down the routes from the receivers and the rest of the offense. That forced the quarterback to have to hold on. It would be just a split second longer, and they were able to get the sack. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. The Mississippi State offense headed back to the field to go to work. And boy, they missed an opportunity last time throwing that pick in the red zone, David. Yeah, and you got to put that frustration. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. It's pretty obvious. This defense came into this one knowing they were going to have to play a complete game until there were zeros on the clock, especially against this quarterback. You cannot take your foot off the gas. And that's exactly what they're doing here. Late in the fourth quarter, they're still bringing it, and they get another sack. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. Stands in and takes the hit. And the ball is picked off. Going the other way, and he's got room. And they capitalize not only on the pick, but on the great return to improve this field position. Offense set on first down. They'll run it. They want to take their time here. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good game. That's got to be demoralizing if you're the defense. You're trailing. You need to get the ball back. you got to get off the field, but you can't stop the run when they're going between the tackles. This defense is going to have to get a lot more physical, especially in the middle. We've reached a two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. They've moved to the 16. It's first and 10. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Looking to throw, it's Flagway. Now moving to his right, looking for anyone that... And the quarterback caught up to and sacked at the 12. But for this quarterback late in the game, you just need to have a better concept of the situation. You can't take sacks at this juncture. And I know that the play gets thrown off, the timing's off, and you're forced to roll out, but if nobody's open, either run the ball, get what you can, get out of bounds, or throw that thing away. Can't take negative plays at this point. Here's the handoff. Kept it on the ground on third down. Picked up five yards, but it'll still be fourth and one. And here comes the field goal team. Salt, meet open wound. From the left hash, this one shouldn't be too much trouble. Never a doubt. Right down the middle. And now the lead is extended a little far. Florida, 51, Mississippi State, 24. 
Well, this one had all the suspense of a bug hurtling his way toward a windshield, and they did splatter them, an absolutely dominating performance. You gotta give the coaching staff a ton of credit. They obviously had their guys ready to play and motivated right from the opening kick. All three phases we saw, just spectacular football. No mental mistakes, David. You really can't play better than that. Nah, it's, it's really fun to do this. Come out and just dominate opponents. Start from finish. Uh, nothing to worry about. You just know you're better. You're going to do you. Put up a bunch of points and win by a lot of points. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.